Hello, my friends. Are we ready for story time? Let's sing our hello song. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Yay, wonderful job. All right, are we ready to read a story together today? This one is called A Sick Day for Amos McGee. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning when the alarm clock clanged, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set the water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal please and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the work day, he'd amble out the door. The next day, every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move. Run races with the tortoise, who never, ever lost and sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy. Lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, read stories to the owl, who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles, and the sneezes, and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, and then curled them back up again, and said, Ugh, I don't think I'll be going to work today. Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his pawns and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos, they wondered. Later that day, what are they doing? Oh my goodness, they're gonna ride the bus. Hooray, said Amos, my good friends are here. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid under the covers. Amos yawned, I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel much better. Thank you, said Amos to his friends. He swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant, and good night to the tortoise, and good night to the penguin, and good night to the rhinoceros, and good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read a story aloud before turning out the light. Oh, look. Are they cozy? The end. Wonderful job. Great listening, my friends. All right, we're going to sing the Six Little Ducks song. And I have some duck friends to help us sing. Six little ducks that I once knew. Tall one, skinny one, fair ones too. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he left the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Down to the river they would go, wibble wobble, wibble wobble to and fro. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Back from the river they would come, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, ho hum hum. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack quack quack, quack quack quack, 
quack, quack, quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Yay, wonderful job. All right, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stop, stop, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stop, stop, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three, clap, clap, stop, stop. Hooray! Yay! Wonderful job! Are we ready to read another story? This one is called The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. Oh, looky there! Are these all these kids with their imaginary friends? Oh, there's all these imaginary friends with their kids, but look, there's Beagle and he doesn't have anyone yet. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night he stood under the stars hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights, but his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. Do you see his teeny tiny boat down there? The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Then finally, he saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place. But he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and he felt very sad. And then he heard a noise below. Hello! Oh, he got the paper that had been up in the tree. And look, it's a picture of him giving her the paper from the tree. Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before. But after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Her name is Alice, and she gave him the name Beagle. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. And look, there's all of the, the imaginary friends with their kids. And now Beagle and Alice are together. The end. Wonderful job. All right, let's sing the elevator song. 
Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little bit of land and we live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. We take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, take the elevator up, take the elevator down, and we turn around. Yay, wonderful job. Let's hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. 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 Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Hurry, hurry, turn the corner. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Hurry, hurry, climb the ladder. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Hurry, hurry, spray the fire hose. Ding, 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 ding. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Hurry, hurry, drive the fire truck. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Yay, wonderful job. Let's sing The More We Get Together. The more we get together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay, wonderful job. All right, let's sing our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Give a smile and wink your eye. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Wonderful job, friends. I'll see you soon.